Hey there people, this is Huey Freeman, here to finish off the classic series of Mega Man by doing Mega Man 8 Pacifist Edition. I'm going to skip the cutscene and jump straight to it. So, Mega Man 8 was done on the PlayStation 1 and the, I believe, Sega Saturn. Or possibly Dreamcast. I could be wrong on that one. Um, I am playing it through GameCube right now. Or, actually, technically the Wii, but um, a GameCube Mega Man collection. So, this one's going to be a little different. Um, this one has an autosave option where as soon as you beat the level, um, it saves regardless. And there doesn't seem to be a way to turn that off. So, instead of typical clean runs, um, basically the first time I beat the level is what you're going to see here. So expect them to look a little um, messier than usual. Um, here we have the new gimmick weapon, the Mega Ball. Um, this is actually very helpful for um, for pacifist runs because it gives Mega Man a double or triple jump, if you will. Um, because you can it's usually designed for kicking, but if you fire it at the right time in midair, you can go ahead and um, bounce off of it. Uh, we have a secret passageway here, and this is the only Mega Man classic game that I know of where Mega Man can swim. Not as much of a fan of it, but hey, I can understand them trying to advance things a little bit. We're going to take a couple of free bolts here. We use those um, to buy upgrades similar to what we did in Mega Man and Bass. And we're going to head back to the normal section. So after that part, I could bounce over this guy, but I'd rather take the hit and be safe. I wouldn't want to accidentally hit him with a Mega Ball. Um, for the record, and I'm not sure if anyone's going to complain about it, but I don't consider hitting the party balls. Um, going against the pacifist run. Party Ball is not really an enemy. Um, it literally exists to give you an item. Um, the first boss here is a giant crab um, and he's very susceptible to the Mega Ball and pretty much becomes child's play with the help of the Mega Ball or even the charged shots. As a matter of fact, that's it. But I also learned that if you go back to fight him with a um, with the tornado hold, which is Tangu Man's weapon, um, you can defeat him in one hit with the tornado hold. Here we've got a little cutscene with Dr. Wily stealing the um, evil energy, and instead of Mega Man chasing him, he finds a mysterious robot. And he decides to go ahead and take that robot to Dr. Light's lab, just like he did with Base in Mega Man 7. So I'll see you soon, guys.